Welcome to Tarot Q&A Tuesday. It's the last one for 2022 and therefore I have suggested to some people that they might want to ask a question to give an overview for what's in store for 2023. Perhaps it's just a key word that could be your mantra or maybe it's an overview of a lesson that could finally be overcome. Who knows? The tarot does. So we will dive in with the questions that have been sent in ahead of time. And then we will also look into Leah's question because she's turned up today. And for all those who are new to Tarot Q&A Tuesday, we always ask a group reading, a collective consciousness card for all of us to hear some little piece of wisdom today on the 27th of December 2022. Okay, first of all, we're going to start off with, who are we going to, I'm going to launch into one that's been sent in earlier on, Naomi. She would like a card to represent the overall upcoming year, please. Best I turn my phone on to silent too. Naomi, let's just get a general card. So you guys will be able to see what this sort of general overview of 2022 could look like for you if you choose to ask your own for your own card. If you don't pull a card today, I do suggest picking a word or two that represents your year ahead, something that you want to make more meaningful. It could be anything from health to prosperity to abundance to presence to love to heartfelt connections, whatever it is for you. All right, Naomi, the card for, this is like, feels like I'm pulling out Lotto here. It's like, and the Powerball is, the Powerball is. For Naomi, is this the card? Woo! Okay. Well, we're going to look on the bright side of this card because this card can represent some quite low mood. Now, we don't have to have a low mood. If this does represent some kind of depression or anxious state, this is not a malfunction. It is a redirection. Now, this card is the epitome of Focus on what you want, not what you don't want. Therefore, that is your mantra for this coming year. Focus on what you want, not what you don't want. And that way you'll continue to lead yourself into the correct direction for your highest good and for your greatest outcome, your most happiness. Now, that's an important message for all of us, really, because when we focus on what we want, we start to feel into the energy of what that is, and that energy attracts the same energy back. Like attracts like, it's the law of attraction, right? Okay, what we're going to do is get another card from another question. Dave, I'm in the process of negotiating a settlement with my ex-girlfriend and our young child. She has her family on her side, acting all caring and all, but they are basically wanting me to leave with the bare minimum. Is there a way we can move forward with harmony and fairness? Okay, Dave, we are just going to give an, get an overview for the card because there's quite a lot involved in that question. So we'll just see where we'll start and we we'll, may need to pull another card, maybe two. Okay. What I'm really turning into is kind of a, more of a final outcome kind of card what you got to look forward to, or hopefully look forward to and not look, not, not look forward to. Dave, oh look, I have got the celebration card. This is a positive vibration within this tricky time. I do see you celebrating. I do see you celebrating. So that would mean, yes, it is likely that you get harmony and fairness in the situation. Just may take time. I'm thinking it might take about three months. Bear that in mind. Be patient. Keep your eye on the prize. Once again, focus on what you want, not what you don't want. I'm now going to draw the collective consciousness card for 2023. And then we're going to talk to Michelle and then we're going to talk to Leah. And then we'll continue with the remaining questions. Okay, collective conscious. 
safe and appropriate to pull a card that wraps up the greatest message for all those who enjoy the Tarot Q&A Tuesday, who come along, us regulars, you could say. I include myself in that, did you notice? <clears throat> all right, this is an important card, isn't it, guys and girls? Whew, almost got the nerves on. Fresh up. 2023, this is the card, this is the card. Interesting, interesting, interesting card. Oh, do I need another one? No. Okay, we've got the Knight of Swords. What I will say about this person, or these, this, the character that this person plays, is that, that they are at the height of their, they're really refining their intelligence, their, their thinking, their thought processes, their mindset. Okay, so this is very much about the head stuff. So when the King of Swords is in play, he is usually a, an intelligent person who is much more analytical than creative at times. Now what this means is our overview for the year, because it's all about the intellect and words and thoughts and ideas, we are going to suggest that you become the king or the queen of your world when it comes to managing your mindset. And that is the goal for all of us here today, to make it our project this year that we be conscious of our thoughts, that we actively stop and consider situations rather than rushing in and maybe blend the intelligence with the intuition so that there is moments of stillness to get the mind in order rather than letting the mind run away on its own. That's probably the best way to say it. Avoid letting your mind take over your life, running away, doing its own thing. Remember, you can always go stop. You can actually say stop to yourself when we start to run off into these stories in our mind. So the aim of the game is to be the king or queen of your mindset, consciously checking in with yourself. Make it like a Sunday evening thing that you think, how much have I been managing my mind? Or how much have I been a victim to my old sabotaging thoughts? There you go, guys. We're going to launch into Michelle's question. I believe she wanted to know what was in the store for 2023. I would like to know from the tarot what vibe is in store. Oh, she used the exact word uh, for me for 2023. Many questions I'd like to ask around business relationships. So I'll be happy to see what comes up randomly. Many thanks. We thank you too, Michelle, for always being here supporting us. Michelle. Uh, the best card for Michelle for 2023. Feel it's going to be a goodie. Michelle. <laughs> this is amazing, Michelle. This is amazing. This is fantastic. Okay, it's the Hierophant. The Hierophant is very, very clear on their values and their beliefs. They are what you could call a guru in their field. A guru in their field. They are someone that other people look up to for advice or wisdom or education. So it could be anything, anyone from a teacher to a, a priest right through to a life coach and more. So this is the year to shine with your, with your gift that you've come into this world to serve others with. And you already know that, but we got the card. Pretty cool, right? Pretty cool, isn't it, Michelle? Because that is exactly what I wanted to hear for you too. Amazing, amazing. Okay, Leah. Leah has just recently got the most gorgeous little puppy called Lacey. Have I done the right thing getting a puppy? I'm feeling very overwhelmed. 
I left her for a bit and came home to find her distressed. Oh, that's so heartbreaking, isn't it, when that happens? It's like, oh, the guilt that comes out of having a little puppy sometimes, or even a, a naughty little dog like my Joni. Did you, have you done the right thing by getting a puppy? Well, we'll ask that question first, and then we will simply go into some advice for you in the process of handling. Look how cute she is. How could you regret that? Yes, you have done the right thing by getting a puppy. Absolutely. This is a beautiful card. It's all about families and nostalgia and connection with friends. It's like these two little chaps here are the souls of you and your puppy. It's absolutely a good thing. We just want to see what you need. It's challenging though, of course. It's like any big change in life, it's going to present a new opportunity for you, you to up-level yourself. Uh -huh. Well, this is beautiful. <laughs> well, I've got the strength card, which is an eight, all about inner confidence, personal power, and really taming the inner beast. So it's really just knowing that you have the ability to absolutely give the doggy, the puppy, what she needs, and also to take it as an opportunity to be with your puppy as a best friend, like it's a best friend scenario. And I'm not just being saying that because it's a cliche, having a dog is the person's best friend, a man, woman's best friend. Instead, more around opportunities to be with your puppy in the presence of one another with because you can't talk you see so it's a really different type of connection that really taps into a different type part of yourself which i can't help but feel this is i know this sounds really weird to anyone watching but i really feel this is incredibly aligned with setting you up to be in a even more ideal vibration to meet your next lover that's how i feel because i'll tell you what my little doggy, she is the she is the epitome of joy. I swear that, it, as a partner, she, <laughs> I have said before that I'd love a man to be um, all the beautiful characteristics of my dog. That's a pretty crazy thing to say, isn't it? But she's a sassy little minx. She's got personality. She doesn't always do what she's told. She's got a mind of her own. But she is so cuddly and affectionate. And she does always just find pleasure in everything. She's always looking for the next ex exciting adventure. I just love her character. And they really do have complete characters, these little doggies, don't they? So I can't wait to see who your little munchkin becomes. All right, let's talk about Brian. This is There's a few newbies on here today. No one's turning up, though. Brian, moving forward, what is my path? So this is a little bit of a 2023 card as well then, old oh, Bri Bri. What is Bri? What's on that? Yeah, this is an interesting one. Even the question in itself is quite, uh, let's just say you have more control over your destiny than that question feels that you know about. Okay, so 2023 is about you getting in the driver's seat of your life. And... We want to find a specific card, a specific message for you, because we're here to help. We're here to help. Oh, look, this is fantastic. This is the best news that you could possibly have. This is the Wheel of Fortune. The Wheel of Fortune, whilst it can imply fortune, is actually a card all about transformation. It's all about change. And the important thing here, just after I said you have some control over your outcome, this is actually destiny. So there is free will choice in life and then there's destiny. Now you are going through a specific change in your life that is meant to happen. And if you keep focused on the positive angle of that and you keep seeing the bright side and you keep being hopeful about your future, you are going to start moving into the best half of your life. I feel you're going through a midlife crisis. Oh, that, sorry, that's a bit rude. When I say midlife crisis, I actually think of that as a bit of an awakening. I think it's a cool thing. I don't say it as an, as an, a, an insult. I literally just say that as... This is an opportunity for you to reset every aspect of your life and to start co-creating with the universe, which means 
you need to listen to yourself more and you need to get inspired by your passions and make some plans, write a bucket list, all this kind of stuff that would be super helpful for you to keep your eye on creating more and more awesomeness in your life. So that's for you, Brian. Thank you for your your request. We are going to whiz through. We're going to pump them out today. Susan. Susan. Will my son handle his new financial situation? Okay, well, it's kind of just a yes or no card, but we may get more information about that as we pull the card. Okay. Safe and appropriate to pull a card for this person, Susan's son. Susan, Susan, Susan's son. Change of situation. Will it be favourable is the question really, isn't it? Oh, absolutely. Oh my God, we're getting the most amazing cards here today. So this is the, ma the magician. The magician is a definite yes. He is magic, just like us. So when he casts his spells out to the universe, that way you are sending a message to the universe that you know what you want and you're willing to line up with it, get in alignment energetically with what you desire. This requires your son to be very, 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 very clear about what he wants because sometimes we're casting spells out to the universe for things we don't want. How are we doing that? We're focusing on the negative. We are running around in our mind all the things that are going wrong and we are seeing what's happening in the present and we're thinking that's our future or we're worried it might be our future or we're not enjoying life. So what's happening in our physical life right now is old news energetically. We have to start manifesting our physical reality now for the next moment in time. Therefore, I encourage you to talk to your son and get him to... These would be like setting goals. I say cast spells or set intentions. Get clear on what he can focus on because without dreams, without ideas, without inspiration and passion, it's too easy to focus on everything that's going wrong. He is going to bloom. It's not just going to be okay in his new space. It's going to be amazing. Amazing. You can rest assured. But he will, he is required to help himself with this. We call this co-creation, which means the human side of us asks for what we want and then listens and watches what happens in life to see how it, aspects of the next step are delivered. Whether that's the right person turning up in their life, as they say, a book falling off the shelf, or a phone call from a, an old friend, or um, someone offering to help in any way. I'm excited for you. I feel very positive about that, Susan. And a lucky last. Melanie M, not to be confused with Melanie R. Okay, is there potential for a long-term relationship with a guy I'm about to meet who I've been talking to on Tinder? Woohoo! Well, we do like a good love card, and we haven't, haven't really been, <laughs> we certainly haven't been in the love mode today, have we? Look forward to a bit more of that in the 2023. Okay, Melanie. A card to wrap up the overall dynamic between you and this Tinder dude. Okay. Okay, have you got that? You got that? Got that? Yeah, it's in the Okay. Yeah. Okay. Except the card. Oh, I like it. I like it a lot. I like it a lot. Well, if we wanted a yes or no card, this is a definite yes. This is a... This is the star. This would be you being able to be your authentic, vulnerable self together, together, yeah, with each other. Sharing is caring, I guess. And to, do you know, there's just something about this that me, I just like the feeling when two people can come together to make amazingness. We talked about this the other day in the Cosmic Consulting class, all about love and 
attraction. When you have two people looking for an, an other half, the other half of themselves, and they finally make a whole, it's actually quite dysfunctional. But when two people can come together as complete individuals who are totally happy with themselves, their world, their life, and they're excited to meet somebody because of the fun and adventure that that may entail, then you can create magic, amazingness, miracles, stardom. You two together can grow and... It's a, it's a big statement for me to say from a Tinder date you haven't had yet. But I jumped some saying it's got good energy. Uh, in that moment of vulnerability, though, there is always scary parts because it's vulnerable. If you can do it safely and grow together, I do feel it's got good, it's got good bones. It's got good bones. That's all I'll say. All right, guys. Look, we're going to wrap it up. Are we going to wrap it up? It was a short and sweet, isn't it? I thought I had so much to do that I whizzed through as fast as possible. What else do we need to know? Um, Leah, do you need any more thoughts around puppy or another question? Michelle, do you want to launch into one about the extra questions you had while we're here? I could just pull on relationship in 2023. Would that be of interest to you? since we have a little bit of extra time. Spice it up with a bit of love life for the end of the year. I should, I should have done some sort of celebration party style. This is like our new... Well, look, Michelle. It's a good card. It's a good card. It's a yes, celebrating. I see you... Well, I'm saying that. Yes, it's celebrating with other friends, girlfriends. Uh, so what I'm feeling, if you are going to meet somebody else, it does and it does feel as if it might be more likely out when you're having a good time than while you're trolling through Tinder or the likes of like the last topic we talked about. So I am getting a three, three months. Hey, it could be three weeks. I'm feeling three months, but uh, it just looks like why not give why not give a fresh start a go in the fresh new year if it comes your way without seeking. Be open to it. That's all I'm saying. All right, gonna love you and leave you. Thanks for coming, ladies, and we look forward to seeing you in the new year. I should be so I feel like I should be like party popping. So I'm just gonna do my New Year's Eve celebrations for the for the um I didn't wear my outfit could have had a party hat on for New Year's Eve but we'll see you right here I think it's the third the third of January and I look forward to catching up then ciao for now